What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Delver, the weekly Magic the Gathering show where I go over a couple of the big pieces of news that caught my eye. Uh, I wanted to jump right in, and then we're going to end the show with a little bit of a new tradition uh, that we're going to do every week, uh, thanks to some help from our friends over at Dragon Shield. So before we get there, let's go over a couple of the headlines. Um, first up, from the Mothership themselves, uh, Explorer Anthology 2 is coming to uh, Magic Arena on the 13th of December. It's going to include a handful of new cards and will cost about 4,000 gems or 25,000 gold. The bundle will be available until March 7th, so you have a long while to pick it up. However, there's a full list of cards that are in the Anthology 2, or sorry, Anthology, what number is this? Well, yeah, Anthology 2 uh, on the website, so definitely go check them out. If it's something you're interested in, if you play a lot of um, older formats or eternal formats on Arena, these are some must-includes in a lot of those decks. So they're continuously adding new things to Arena from the back catalog of Magic cards to shore up the interest in Eternal formats like Explorer and Historic. The next bit of news from the Mothership is that they're changing country-specific card sleeves on Arena. So this was something that came up on Magic Twitter quite a bit, and people have mixed feelings about. It's a little bit of an odd choice. Uh, let's read this and see how we feel. Several, several years ago, as part of a limited time promotion, players were able to obtain card sleeves depicting certain country-specific flags for use in Arena. We feel that this has impacted some players' ability to enjoy the game. Okay. As such, we will soon be restricting how the country-specific card sleeves will appear in-game. Players who previously acquired these sleeves will still see them in their collection and may still apply them to decks. During matches, only the player who has these card sleeves applied will see them on their deck. It will appear as a default card back to opponents. Players will receive 300 gems per flag card sleeve in their collection when this change goes live, regardless of how they originally obtained the sleeves. Furthermore, we currently have no plans to make these sleeves available again in-game or through regional promotions, this change will go into effect as of our December 13th game update with a gem reimbursement happening shortly thereafter. This is fairly confusing. I'm not sure what they're talking about when they say stuff like the flags of a country could negatively impact some player's ability to enjoy a game. Um, I know there's a lot of animosity between some countries politically and um, theologically, so I understand from a grand perspective why someone might feel a certain way seeing a specific country's flag, but stating that it would hamper someone's enjoyment or ability to enjoy a digital trading card game seems a little weird to me. Um, there's not a lot of information on why or what spurred this online, so we're basically just guessing as to what could have caused this. Um, hopefully, Wizards of the Coast will maybe sh shed a little bit more detail on it. Obviously, it's something that, you know, sounds negative to outside ears and is kind of negative to the people who it directly affects, so perhaps they won't shed more light on it at all because they just want to sweep it under the rug. Um, but yeah, let me know what you feel about this. Is this as confusing to you as it seems to be to me? Um, yeah, I don't know. I would love to have Canada sleeves in Arena, so I'm sad I missed out on these and that they're not going to bring them back because it has uh, negatively impacted some people's games. Uh, the next little bit of news is that um, one of the most legendary metal artists of all time is getting their own secret layer. Frank Frazetta is doing a secret layer. Um, this is really cool. The cards that they've revealed for it are Seize the Day, a tr Temporal, a Manipulation, Dark Ritual, Midnight Reaper and Field Marshal, and one cool card in each color. The art on these is insane. Um, the whole December Secret Layer drop 
is revealed and out. Um, this, for some reason, is not... Okay. So we've got uh, the meaning of life. We've got big non-foil bundles, everything. The meaning of life. Uh, the Frank Franz Franzetta, Frazetta ones. Welcome to Fungal Foil. Uh, we've got special guest lands from Cozy, Cozy and Dan. And then we've got Cozy and Dan is doing five cards, which is pretty cool. We'll take a quick look at these in a second. Then we've got Alexi Brickclot is doing a set artist series. And then they're doing this breakfast cereals thing that they teased. Wizards of the Street. And Time Trouble 2. And then they've got a Transformers bundle, which uh, seems to be up a lot of people's alley. I'm not really into it. Um, so the meaning of life includes uh, forced fruition, future sights, mental misstep, and minds dilation. Some really cool art on here um by the artist ori tor these are really cool looking uh, i'm sure they would look fantastic in foil uh, i'm a big proponent of secret layers i like the collecting aspect i like the the art pull on them uh, then we've got this one which has abundant growth that's really cool um mike Michaeloth? At the beginning of your upkeep, create a 1 1 green sapperling creature token for each 1 1 counter on Michaeloth. And it's a 4 4. This is just cool. This is. Um, and we've got the uh, Gav. Gave? Guru of Spores. These poster, kind of comic booky style. Oh, this one's kind of set up like it's. um. Slimefoot the Stowaway. This one looks like a festival, a music concert. That's really cool. And then it comes with a Sapperling token, which is really awesome. Um, and these have a different artist on all of them. Really, really cool little set there. This one is called Welcome to the Fungal. Like, Welcome to the Jungle. Get it? Then we've got a Cozy Dan's card artist series. Um, we've got Sarah Ascendant. We've got Rapid Hybridization. We've got Demonic Consultation. These are stunning. Stunning. Winds of Change and Lanawar Elves. Very, very cool. Uh, and then the second artist series is Alexi Bricklot. We've got Thought Not Seer, uh, Inquisition of Kozilek, Reality Smasher, and Eldrazi Temple. It's still a little weird to me that they're doing four cards for most of these instead of five. Um, yeah, it's just a little awkward. Then here's the breakfast cereal covers. Uh, Itali Primal Storm. We've got the back of the cards have like the fake legendary creature nutritional facts and then the puzzles that we used to love on the back of cereal boxes. Uh, we've got Galta Primal Hunger. Uh, and a little word search back there. And then we've got Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger. Ulamogios. And there's a nice little uh, pattern game back there. And that's it. There's only three? I guess there's only three. Um, it looks like you get six. Oh, you get six cards. You get two of each creature. But it's like one of them looks like the front of the box. And one of them looks like the back of the box. So this still acts as a creature card. It's still a 6-6 six, six legendary creature. Elder Dinosaur. Okay. So you get two copies of each. Uh, then we've got Wizards of the Street. This is a really cool little set uh, with the art done by Martin Antiveros. Antiveros? Very, very cool. And then the uh, last new one is Time... What did it say? T time Trouble 2. Uh, some really cool old frame borders 
uh, versions of like Narset Parter, Parter of Veils, um, Nissa who shakes the world. So some classic planeswalkers, Tezzeret Ancient of Bolas. And this one looks like it only has three cards in it. They're getting weird with the number of cards included. It's, it's all the same price. Uh, it makes no sense to me. Uh, the next little bit of news is that the 30th anniversary countdown kits are getting play mats because this art is fantastic. Um, Ultra Pro and MTG Pro Shop have teamed up to offer each of the 30 different new art versions of these classic cards. Um, they're doing the art from the card as play mats made by Ultra Pro, so you know they're going to be premium quality. Uh, I haven't had a single Ultra Pro playmat fray or do anything. Uh, these are all available on mtgproshop.com. And that's about it for the week uh, that is November 5th, ending in November 5th. We have a lot on the horizon. It's going to be a very interesting few months. February is the new set, so we still have uh, the Brothers War and Dominar United kind of double feature uh, to last us through until February. So grab some booster packs, play some games with your friends during the holidays. Uh, and then I just wanted to end off uh, with a new tradition where we look at the winners and losers of the week as brought to you by the Dragon Shield MTG card manager. Absolutely love this app. Super recommend for anyone that collects, anyone that wants to build decks in theory, anyone that wants to have a digital trade list. I have all of my cards in my inventory in my Dragon Shield card manager, um, and it's just such a huge, huge boon. Uh, so let's take a look at the winners and losers of the week. Um, the biggest winner by 142% is Brothers End. Uh, market value of $5.12. That's not bad. New card. It's becoming a staple in red aggro, in burn, um, in, in, you know, Boros. Then we've got Crystal Rod. It's a uh, market jump 127%. That's a pretty good one. There's a lot of new artifacts, a lot of people brewing artifact decks right now. So, you know, any of these classic artifacts that are really powerful, um, are going to see a jump in interest and in market value. Again, uh, Welding Jar, 123% jump in this last week. Welding Jar is zero mana for an artifact. Sacrifice it, regenerate target artifact. So this one's a pretty neat um, card, and it's jumped up to $2.14 in this last few days. Then we've got Evil Presence Enchant Land. A target land is now a swamp. This has jumped up 117% to $270.74. Uh, that's a pretty big jump. I wonder what's brewing um, Evil Presence so much. Very, very cool card. Uh, but it's interesting that it would see such a rise in in popularity right now and then shark typhoon has jumped up 98 percent to 16 dollars and 98 cents um you know this was reprinted during the magic 30th anniversary kind of calendar the 30 days of magic it's a huge staple in you know azorius control decks it's a very powerful card um not surprised that this is climbing in the winner's column then we've got the biggest losers at minus 92 percent locks it on warhammer uh there's just better equipment generally uh we've got temple of enlightenment the azorius scry land dropped 87 percent uh genesis has dropped 69 percent fire of industry 64 percent and reflections of lajara at 51 percent drop now i love looking at this stuff if you guys want um me to look at something a little bit different or how how you want to structure this kind of end bit of my, the weekly show i think i want to keep looking at the winners and losers so let's keep doing it let me know what you want 
more from this kind of a little closing segment and I uh, thank you again for for watching these if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel uh, please do we're trying to raise that subscriber number so that we can gain access to more tools here on YouTube uh, you don't have to turn on the bell although we'd love it uh, we'd love a comment and a thumbs up as well but really we're trying to reach a certain threshold uh, of a subscriber count um, that will give us a lot more tools uh, internally to be able to make uh, cooler things and kind of start earning some more some more dollars so that we can start injecting more time and effort into these shows right now it's kind of a fly by the seat of your pants thing where I just get to passionately talk about what's caught my eye in the last week and uh, talk to you guys a lot of com conversations in the comments lately and I can't thank you enough for spending any of your time uh, with me here on this channel. So until next time, thank you so much. And may all of your hands be keeps and may all of your opponents mulligan. We'll check you on the next one. Peace out.